So I've been playing Honkai Star Rail like a madman the past three days in the beta, and I've been loving it from the story to the the art style, uh, the voice acting. Everything's been phenomenal, and the gameplay has been great as well. What's going on, guys? Clanky's all back again with another Honkai Star Rail video, and in today's video, we're talking about my first guaranteed five-star unit I pulled, Bailu. I'm going to talk about how good she's been for me over the game, uh, and talk a little bit about her skills, and maybe she possibly could be someone you guys want to pull when you go in uh, on release date. You know, when you maybe when you're re-rolling, or maybe just somebody you hope to pull down the line. So Bailu follows the abundance path. And if you guys didn't know, paths in this game are essentially jobs or classes, and it's what the character is gonna be good at. And we can see abundance says heals allies and restore HP to the team. Meaning she's a healer, right? Looking at her skills, every character have these skills. Like you know, they have a technique, they have a talent, a skill, a basic attack, and an ultimate. Every character has that. And the technique is something you can cast pre-battle to give your team an edge right before you uh, you know, start attacking the enemy uh, on the field, right? So her technique is after using Bailu's technique, at the start of the next battle, all allies have Invigorate for one turn. And we're going to look up what Invigorate is. That's going to be a talent. Invigorate essentially means when you get attacked, you will heal. So if you have that on you and you get hit, you will heal all as well. So let's say the enemy hits you for 300, Bailu could heal you for 200. It's kind of like the hit didn't happen. It's very, very powerful. So we'll read this. Uh, Gordful of Elixir, Restore. When an Invigorated ally is hit, Heals the ally for 6% of Bailu's max HP, plus 73, so you kind of want to build her with a lot of HP. This effect can trigger up to two times. When an ally, this is the big one, when an ally is knocked down, Bailu immediately heals them for 24% of Bailu's max HP, plus 208. This effect can only be triggered one per battle. I cannot tell you how many times this has saved me throughout my gameplay so far in the game. She has a re-raise. As long as Invigorate is on someone, she is bringing them back to life. Now, it can only happen once per battle, but it is huge. I'm telling you, huge. And then uh, we can see out here when Bailu heals a target ally above their normal max HP, the target's max HP increases by 10% for two turns. And this is just something I've gotten by increasing her skills on her like skill grid. And that will come with time as you level up the character. Next up, we have our normal skill, which is going to be heals a single ally for 9% of Bailu's max HP plus 94. Bailu then heals a single ally two more times. After each healing, the outgoing healing for the next healing is reduced by 15%. And this, this is absolutely absurd. And it's kind of a little bit of a lotto, a little bit of gamba. You will heal someone and then it will bounce around. It can bounce to the same person. It can bounce to someone else. It can bounce up and down three times on the same person and heal them all up. Or you can hit anybody you want. Or you can heal somebody that you don't want it to heal, which is insane. So, But it's really, really powerful because it does heal three people. It's been really, very good for me. Her basic attack is just going to deal lightning damage uh, equal to her attack. It's not really something I use very often. I'm usually using her to heal to keep me alive. But it is there if you need to break maybe. Uh, and their elemental weakness is lightning. She could be there to help your team out with that. And finally, her ultimate is Leap of Marsh Draken. Heals all allies by 12% of Bailu's max HP plus 106. For all allies that are not already invigorated, she will invigorate them. For those who are already inv invigorated, Bailu makes their invigoration last one more turn. So essentially, we talked about Invigoration. It applies that to your entire team when you ultimate. So when I'm playing with Bailu, what I like to do is use the ultimate. You know, obviously it's an AoE heal. I like to use it when I think a big attack is coming in. That way when they get hit, they have Invigorate. They can heal back up. And it's just, it's an insane technique. So using her throughout the game so far, she is phenomenal like I'll, I'll just say that out there right now it's gonna suck getting into the real game and not having Bailu because of how strong she is it, it's been absolutely ridiculous the things I've been able to pull off with her especially with the re-raise happening when they're invigorated it has saved me countless times in the harder content that I've done throughout the game talking about equipment for Bailu I, I'm not gonna get into it too much because I'm just learning the game but what I have equipped right now so you guys can just see what I'm working with when you put a light coat on which is essentially like the weapon of the game it needs to be matched to them, so their path, so this is for abundance. If you don't match the path, then you're not going to be able to get the ability. Now, you can get the skill ups here, but you won't get the ability. But this ability just increases the wear's outgoing healing by 10%. When using a skill, regenerates two energy for all allies. So that's for their ultimate. So every time I use a skill, I'm giving my whole team two energy for their ultimate. And, you know, my healing is increased by 10%. It's the only one I have. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the relics are going to be the equipment system, and as you guys know, we'll get into that later. This, You guys are so familiar with this in all the gacha games. But the set I have on her right now is just increases her healing by 10%. At the beginning of the battle, immediately recovers one skill point. Uh, just, just to, uh, you know, help out the team, you know what I mean? The, the more healing, the better. This may not be correct. There may be a better set out there for her, but this is what I had and the game gave me. So I just threw it on her there. All right, so we're going to head into battle. I'm going to show off Bailu a little bit. So in this fight, we're going to go ahead and just... Start taking down the enemy. Obviously, you want to take down their weakness, so I'm going to attack here with Sila. And then I'm just going to blast here with our main character. 
Uh, probably AoE here, and I do have a skill point, so we'll be fine. And I'm going to show you Bailu's hill here. So, again, we can go to her restore. We can choose an ally. Now, watch it bounce. I just want to show you guys in battle. It goes bounce there. Bounce. See, it, it triple bounced on Sela. So, it could have bounced the other characters that were hurt, but it triple bounced on Sela. And that's kind of insane because, again, if it does, if we get her up to the point where she can give the damage buff as, as well, Sela is going to be popping off. She, and we'll talk about her later. I ended up getting her as well. She's sick. Uh, but we're going to use her ultimate here. And so everybody's hurt. So I'll just show when we use her ultimate, it does uh, apply Invigorate. So we're going to use uh, Bailu's ultimate here. Get everybody topped off and, and start building that ultimate back up just in case we need it. We're not in really too bad a shape, but, you know, just in case. Take the, uh, the old Traveler's ultimates and just whack probably both of them why not probably gonna do a ton of damage yeah my, my traveler is insane right now we'll do single target actually she doesn't have any we'll pop this ultimate she i didn't have anybody that's weak to her so need to be careful of that we break there try to get a kill with sila we'll talk about her later but if she gets a kill she does reset which is sick there's a lot of uh crazy stuff you can do in this game that really like uh makes it insane if you time it up right the only weakness I have on my team right now is Bailu, so I can show you that, for example. So, I have Ice Weakness here, so it's going to help me with the Break Meter. And then Bailu can heal right now. Or, also, again, this is some uses for Bailu. She is, uh, you know, good, adv advantageous, excuse me, against the enemy. And did take down the Weakness Bar a little bit. But, it would be better if I had a couple more Ice people on my team for this fight. So, it it's totally fine. It it'll work out. <laughs> but I'm telling you guys, look at this sick animation. It's clean. I, have, I, I was struggling in a really hard fight. In this game and I, I the strategy you have to put together to kind of get through it and, and we'll talk about the different modes the game mode I was in is very uh, was very very cool it, it, it allows you to really strategize and there are so many different elements to this game and you see it bouncing three people there by Lou popping off dude I'm telling you she's insane and she's about to have her ultimate up again uh, and everybody's at full health it's just it's and, and if somebody would die again she would bring them back to life so sick the game gives you Natasha for free and we'll go over all the free units um, down the road uh, sorry, I was just looking at the fact that I'm already back on Bailu. I'm already back on Bailu and nobody needs healed, but we'll show it off. Boom. <laughs> There's the heal, baby, bouncing around. Max HP. So, that was something we talked about uh, that came from her skill tree. If we go here to the units, you can see that because of her, uh, these units being at max HP when they were healed, we've now increased their max HP by 10%. And there's going to be more coming that from her skill tree as you level her up. I'm going to be really sad when it comes time for a release, like I said, and I don't have this unit. It has saved me countless times. It has healed so much. I have a friend named Cloud who's also loving the game, playing it, going to be doing content on the game. And sadly, he didn't get Bailu. He got another great unit. We'll talk about that later. I can't wait to try her out. But he has to work with Natasha. Natasha's not terrible, but Bailu's just that much better. Just way, way better. Um, but that's Bailu, guys. And this is the, I was farming for relics, so we'll see. This is that uh, healing set I was talking about. So we'll see if that's good enough to go on Bailu and level it up. Uh, overall, I just wanted to show you guys how she works, why I think she's fantastic, and why it's somebody I really do hope I do pull and release. Now, I haven't gone over all the fives yet or got to play with all of them, but having a healer is a mainstay in your party, and she seems like one of the best. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below who you pulled on your five star. I want to know who you guys are pulling in the game, because uh, there are a lot of options out there that I haven't got to see, and who's your favorite. Subscribe for future content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.